Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Overkill Reviews. Before I get into the review, I have to remind you guys, we are on Patreon and thanks to you, that's why we're back on the air. But we do wanna hit that $5,000 stretch goal so that we can do our second review on Indian underground bands, which is my specialty. So head on over, throw some money our way if you're so inclined and don't forget to subscribe. This week, I'm reviewing a heavily hyped new record that is by a band who is basically the second coming of Neurosis. That's right, everybody. It is the new album by Yob. It's called Our Raw Heart, and it is out today on Relapse Records. Yob is a stoner doom band based out of Eugene, Oregon. Their debut, Elaborations of Carbon, came out in 2002. The band has been spearheaded by Mike Scheidt, who is their guitarist and vocalist. And when they came out, they were a bit more primitive, but still very psychedelic, stoner, post-rock, sludge style of music. The band released four records four years in a row, and then they ended up going on a break, and then they re-emerged in 2009 with their breakthrough album, The Great Cessation. In the decades since the release of that record, Yob have become critical and media darlings. And this new release is being hailed as possibly their best record yet. But that being said, what makes it possibly better than Clearing the Path to Ascend, than Catharsis, than The Great Cessation? Let's talk about it. It's no secret, Yob is known for making long records with long tracks. And one of the good things that really, really helps propel our raw heart is the fact that the songs are mostly a bit shorter and have a little bit more sonic variance, with the exception of two tracks, the title track and Beauty and Falling Leaves, which are both over 14 minutes long. To compare, their previous album, Clearing the Path to Ascend, had four tracks, was one hour, and it felt a little bit one-dimensional because it's so lurching and glacial and it just feels angry all the way throughout. The one before that, Atma, has a little bit of a similar approach, and both of those records really failed to hook me as a listener the way that The Great Cessation did. Due to all that, I am very glad to say that Our Raw Heart has a similar sonic structure as that great record does, and it takes you on this harrowing and an emotional sonic journey. Now for some very specific things that stand out. The track Ablaze has Mike's very distinctive Getty Lee-esque nasally vocals all throughout, and the song really nicely transitions from delicate and gentle to very heavy and soaring. Later on, the song Lungs Reach has this very ghastly screams and these very deliberate slow guitar notes that end up ringing out for eternity. Next up, my very favorite track, Beauty and Falling Leaves, has these great thunderous drums and these very weighty bass lines that help elevate the psychedelic guitars and soaring vocals all the way up until the stratosphere. Then the song Original Face has this super driving guitar rift and then this fucking howl that just was raising goosebumps on my skin. If you know the backstory behind this record, it's really easy to kind of extrapolate as to why it feels like this harrowing and emotional sonic journey. Mike, he has had a lot of health issues that have been fairly well documented in the press. He was diagnosed with diverculitis. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, which is a very painful intestinal disease. And he had been treating it for over a year when he had an attack in a supermarket, ended up having to be hospitalized and had a massive surgery. And that surgery was extremely painful, caused a lot of severe hallucinations. What ended up happening was that Mike had to relearn how to sing, and he ended up writing and working on a lot of the record while he was in post-surgery. He also contracted a staph infection after the surgery, which almost killed him once more. If you want to, I interviewed Mike for a piece for Bandcamp where he discussed a lot of that in very candid detail. That link is in the video description. So there's all these things going on that put a lot of, not philosophical, but an emotional bent behind the music and it really translates into the songs. And you can hear the trauma, you can hear the joy and the triumph because ultimately Mike survived and Yob survived. Although this record is very good, I will sum up the worst part in two words. That is the screen. That song is very lurching and glacial and it reminds me a lot of the previous record. And personally, I could do without the track. I just find it to be a little bit too samey from previous 
material. That being said, I have so far listened to this record 17 times all the way through, and I never skipped it. So it's not entirely heinous, it's just something that I could personally do without. I've been raving for a while now, and quite frankly, it's because our raw heart might be the best Yob record that's ever been made. In terms of the sonic landscape, it really is reminiscent of the great cessation. And while time will tell a little bit better if it ends up eking out that record as their masterwork, as of right now, I'm incredibly impressed and there's a reason why people are raving. There's so much going on, it's so heavy, it's so light, it's so beautiful, delicate. There's all these things happening that really make this record feel like an emotional and a sonic journey. And I really like that when sludge metal, post metal, and music of this genre goes with dynamics. Yab hasn't really done that that well on the previous two records, in my humble opinion. And on this one, they really recapture that essence that made them so powerful and made The Great Cessation such a breakout for them. Because this record is so goddamn good, I'm giving this one four and a half skulls out of five, which I'm pretty sure is my highest skull rating yet for a new release, save maybe for that Temple of Void that I absolutely still love. Our Raw Heart is excellent, and I can say with fairly certain confidence that most major metal publications are going to be rating it in their best of 2018, probably in the top five. Time for my favorite part, the shout outs. If you dig this, then head over to our Patreon so that we can do more of it. But for this week, I'm gonna talk about two records in particular. One of them is by Toronto's own death metal act, Tomb Mold. They have their first record for 20 bucks spin. That one is called Manner of Infinite Forms, and it comes out today. I highly recommend that you pick that one up. You can buy it on their Bandcamp. Other than that, there is a brand new record by American doom metal band Witch Mountain. Came out a couple of weeks ago, I know, but uh, just like this Yab record, it's a band that has been around for a long time and has simply gotten better with age. And on their new record, they have a new vocalist and the new vocalist is absolutely stunning. And as a result, they've released a self-titled record and it's their best album yet. So much like the St. Vitus and Troubles behind them, they made a statement and called it after themselves. It's pretty kick-ass, I highly recommend it. So that's it for me. A special shout out to all the Patreon people who have donated money. Watch for your name in the credits. And again, thank you for getting us back here. We love being here, it's the best. Bye. <laughs>